Here we go. Hi, welcome to another episode of West Coast Cast. My name is Kevin, and we're going to be tying a fly for beginners today, which happens to be an awesome anchor fly for Euronymphing. And it will also work in still water or you, a lot of different ways that you can fish it. It's happened to be made by Rio Products and it's called Baby Got Bead. <laughs> so, so kind of a funny name, but it's got Baby Got Bead. I'll put a picture of it in the, uh, in the film here. And I've got it in fluorescent green, olive. Um, here's one in olive. Um, purple, black, uh, a natural colored version. Works really well. I know you can't really see those, but I'll have a picture. It really, really works well in the water because it's tied with rabbit fur and it has a lot of action. But it's also tied sparsely enough that it can sink really fast. I do typically use heavier beads with this. So we're talking 3.8, 4, all the way up to 4.8. And the reason why I like this is in the springtime, the water is really running hard here. We have high flows and uh, the current's pretty swift in certain areas that I like to fish. So I need to get my fly down and I need to get it down fast. And then on my top tag fly, I won't be tying this in this, this one, but um, we can do another video where I tie it. But this one's called a Spanish bullet. It's an olive. It's got a copper head. It's very sparse, as you can see. I'll put a picture up in this one. Um, but something like this or whatever hatch is, is, is hatching, I'll put that on the, the top tag fly. But um, let's get to it. Let's tie this anchor fly. It's Rio's Baby Got Bead. I do want to give credit to Red's Fly Shop. Uh, they're a uh, local company to the river I fish. And um, they sell this product. I happened to buy one of them to try it out. It worked fantastic. And I thought, well, hey, let me tie some up. Let me tie some in different colors. And um, they, they, they actually worked fantastic. So I thought, hey, this is a great fly. It's pretty simple to tie. Good for beginners. I'm a beginner. So um, let's do this. Here we go. All right. In the vise, I've got a size 12 Hannock H400BL. The BL is for barbless, for those that don't know. And I like to fish barbless hooks because it's really easy to take uh, take it out and not hurt the fish. And a lot of the rivers around here require barbless. I've got a four millimeter copper tungsten bead uh, on the hook. You can see the hook here is kind of a jig hook. And then for the body, I'm actually gonna be using two strands of crystal flash. And then to rib it and make it secure, I'm going to use um, some ultra wire size uh, small in silver. And then um, for wrapping it all up, I'll use an olive UTC 70 thread along for the collar, it'll be an orange uh, collar. So um, let's get to this. And I'll go ahead and put a materials list in the description as well. So we've got the bead on and what I like to do is just make it a little, a little bit slight build behind the bead to hold it into place. And then you snip this off. And I'm just taking the thread, wrapping it all the way down to about the bend in the hook or so. And then I'll go ahead and just wrap it up once. Again, as you watch this, you'll probably see a lot of things that I'm not doing proper uh, for people that are really expen uh, um, that are really experienced at tying flies. Um, but again, like I said before, mine catch fish, so that's all good. I'd, I'd like to spend as little time tying them and m more time out on the water. <laughs> But um, I also do want to learn how to tie them and make them look really nice. But for now, this is good for beginners to learn, hopefully. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap in this uh, UTC small wire silver thread. And I'm going to wrap it here on the side and bring it all the way down to the bottom. And this is going to go be wrapped up over the top of the crystal flash body when I'm done with that. 
So here we go, that's wrapped in there. Now I'm gonna take two strands of Crystal Flash, and honestly, you could use anything um, and play around with different colors, but I like it a little bit flashy, so I've got two strands. I'm gonna take them and sort of fold them in half around the thread, like that. And then what I'm gonna do is wrap it in and then bring my thread back up to about where the collar would be. So a little bit, maybe the thickness of the eye of the hook behind the bead. I'm just gonna throw a little hatchet, half hitch in there. All right, now I'm gonna take this thread and wrap it in from the bottom. I'm sorry, I'm gonna take the crystal flash and wrap it from the bottom all the way up to where the collar would be. And you can see this body's gonna be very sparse. Take the olive thread, wrap around the crystal flash. And the crystal flash, by the way, is right here. It just looks like this pearl crystal flash. Cut the excess off. Now I've got my wire. I'm gonna wrap my wire the opposite direction that I wrapped that flash. And, and it's just sort of a ribbing is really what you want on this. And it just kind of helps hold the crystal flash and makes it stronger and sturdier. All right, so there's that, I'll tie that off. And one little trick for the beginners, if you don't know, instead of cutting it where it can make it a sharp edge, you just take it and you helicopter and it'll break off on its own. Oh, <laughs> that did not do the kind of break that I wanted it to do, see? <laughs> you don't have to be perfect, just have fun with it. I'll cut it off now. <laughs> oh well. But you can see now, um, we've got the bead, we've got the body, we've got the silver wire ribbing, and now it's time to add the, in this situation, I'm gonna do the olive rabbit fur, and you can do different colors, like I said, and I've got had the picture up in the, um, in the window here uh, on the video. So I'm using uh, a hackle pliers called Swiss CDC. It's actually a really a great plier. Um, first time using it actually. Um, up until this point to tie all these other flies that I've, that I've been tying with hack, uh, where you, where you want a dubbing. All these other flies where you, you need a dubbing. <laughs> I've been using a bag clip. <laughs> so you can see the size of it. Uh, and it's worked just fine. So if somebody doesn't have money, um, a bag clip will work fine, but when you can, a nice set of hackle pliers, I'm not hackle pliers, but um, whatever these things are called, a nice set of, when you can, a nice set of uh, real hackle dubbing pliers would work great. So I'm going, I, I placed the, uh, about uh, three quarters of an inch piece of rabbit fur in here, and I'm gonna trim this off so then I'm gonna create a dubbing loop. So the way I create a dubbing loop is I just take this and um, go around once here, then come around the front of it twice, and then lock it in place. So now I've got a, uh, a loop in my thread that whether it's deer fur, elk fur, rabbit fur, that you can put in this little loop and then spin it around your fly. So um, it's pretty cool how it works. And to use that then, I'll put the fur right in here and then I'll put this little dubbing tool um, into the loop and spin it. And this is probably the most challenging, difficult part of tying this fly 
is, is this part right here. So just hang with me. It's pretty simple. Um, we'll put this thing in here. my thread out of the way. So now I've spun the tool here and I'll try to pull some of these out. This is my first time using those pliers and honestly I think I was better with the bag clip than these pliers. <laughs> All right, so now I'll go ahead and, and wrap this. Um, generally, I have it a lot closer and tighter and I'll only do about one or two wraps, but as you can see, I, I didn't get the rabbit fur all around. So, okay, so there we go. So now I'm starting to wrap it right. And uh, there's one wrap. I'm trying to pull it down towards the bottom. Two. Well, I just didn't get a lot of fur on this one. So three, you just want to really make sure that it's sparse. So now you, you tie that off, cut your dubbing loop. Tie that off. Just throw just a couple little half hitches over it. And now it's time for the collar. So now I've got my orange, fluorescent orange, UTC 70 thread, and I'm just going to put a little collar on it. Pretty simple. Just tie that one in with these lights that are shining on here. It's really hard to see everything. All right. I know, Kevin, no excuses for how poorly you're tying this fly. But if, it's, if I'm tying it this poorly and it catches fish, then you guys can tie one as well. All right, so tie this on. And that's probably it right there. Um, I'll put a whip finish. One, two, three, four. And that's essentially it for this fly, with the exception of, I do want to put in some UV clear flow. And the way I do this is I like to Take my bodkin, dip it into the, the flow, and now just be careful not to get it on the fur. I'm going to pull the fur back and just get it right on the thread itself. And that'll lock that thread in place. If you wanted, you could also use some UV um, fluorescent orange, but... Uh, we're using the clear, you take your UV light, I've got a Loon UV light, and you just shine this light, and it's about four, five, six seconds, and it dries. Perfect, so there's the fly, it's, it's the uh, Baby Got Bead fly. So this is the fly, and it uh, turned out pretty well. Super easy to do. It's an awesome anchor fly. Um, you could maybe even add a little bit more fur to it and fish it in a lake. If you look at this one here, it's got a little bit more fur to it. And then when I do add more fur, I typically will put a heavier bead on. You can see it, this natural color one right there. Um, another one I really, really like that fishes really well is this fluorescent green one. And uh, really tied sparsely with the rabbit fur. And on the black one, I usually do a black body with a silver ribbing. Anyway, I know these flies aren't perfect, but they're meant to inspire beginners, maybe encourage people to give fly tying a try, um, or even just help out people that are just getting started in it. Like I said, I'm new, but I've tied a whole box of flies and they've been catching fish. It's really, really fun. And um, I hope to see you out on the river. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, don't forget to click the little like button, subscribe, and I'll see you out on the river. Tight lines. Cheers, everybody.
Here we go.